All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And if you haven't seen my poll a few days ago, remember to always vote on those. Those give me a good idea of what to do for my next video. But this one was, what is your biggest siege weakness? And it was more specifically, what would you like to see a video on? But I put attacking and droning there for one reason and one reason only. I wanted to see what people would say because droning, in my opinion, is all attacking is. If you have drones, you have intel, and you can easily attack the site. And a lot of people ignore that. And that's why I wanted to put it separately and obviously a lot of people hit attacking over droning but in all reality i would have voted droning all day because droning is one of the toughest things to do drone inventory is one of the toughest things to manage if you're on a more competitive team and it's hard to keep your drone economy up so for the people that should be continuing on to this video, have you ever driven your drone in just right into sight and start spotting stuff and just see how many points you can get? Because that's what a lot of people do. They just try to find the objective and don't really care about having that drone. Having two drones over one, having that angle on wherever you put your drone or just keep it and hold it for having two to work with during the, uh, the main round can absolutely kill it during attacks. I'm sure a lot of people that are watching this can't even get a few kills on the attacking side and defense is their only strong suit and i understand that it's tough to drone but in all reality it all comes down to is just droning whenever you die entering a building that is always what it is you did not drone right or someone's just holding a really strong angle and that happens too but you can limit the just dying because someone's sitting in a corner by droning good become a good droner so we're going to go over how to become a really good droner for you and your team and improve your kills so before we get into specifics i want to go over do's and don'ts and this is the key takeaways from this video that you need to take away if you want to bring this to the game so number one do not do this is drone straight to the objective room during the prep phase everyone always just goes there and i see this and sometimes there's like two drones left at the end of the preparation phase especially as you get lower down in ranks around plat i see three or four but as you get higher you all start seeing all of them and etc etc it goes down as low as copper where everyone's drones dead in the first 10 seconds because you're dive bombing your thing into the objective trying to spot the enemies while you usually want Want, like at least one drone to uh, spot the objective you don't need everyone to storm the objective and usually if you're solo queuing don't even worry about it your team is going to get the objective everyone storms into the room and tries to get their points when in all reality who cares about the points now the next thing with your drone and this is usually in prep phase is when i see this the most is just constantly spotting enemies switching drones trying to spot on someone else's drone it can actually destroy a drone spot say you have a really good drone spot but you're holding down your ping button every two seconds it's gonna give it away they're gonna be looking for it and if your teammates start pinging on your drone just turn it around so they can't do it because ultimately that drone is probably very important to your push you're probably putting it somewhere that's gonna help you push or help your team get into sight so the main gist of it is do not ping unless if you're actually trying to distract them in a round or trying to get a wall bang through a round. So usually when I'm messing around in like a casual game, I'm just holding the X button just to troll the enemies basically because it just pops spot the enemy. But if I'm playing ranked, I never try to spot. Never should you spot in a ranked game unless if there's an actual reason for it, not just mindlessly hitting your ping button. Now what you want to do, basic do's, is try to get the best angles you can in the best spots that are hard to see. You need to pre-place your drone where you're going to be pushing or where you know that this drone is actually going to be useful don't just put it in a closet somewhere where it won't be of use because in all likelihood you might not actually get to this drone and if it's in a good spot you'll have actually a place that your team can use to view where they are or what they're doing and it'll work out pretty well now while those all seem pretty simple all the do's and all the don'ts a lot of people don't do that and i'm sure you guys notice a lot of people don't do that and you might not do that yourself which is a big problem you got to start doing that and we're going to get into more detail on how we could better use our drone but that is just the main things if you just want to leave that is all you need to take away from this and if you want more detailed droning tips because we're about to get into that right about now and we're going to start in the preparation phase so i'm going to assume that everyone here is either solo duo or triple queuing i just don't assume that people are playing in like a actual structured team because you're probably not in this video so even if you aren't this is still probably useful whenever you do play ranked solos so when your team finally spots the objective or you just know where it is and call it out and whatever you guys decide to do you need to decide 
decide on where your entry point is going to be, whether you're going to be trying to roam clear, whatever you're trying to do, and set it where you're going to go. So find the entrance, and you could either find a drone spot if you know one for that, and if not, leave it outside and just pick it up whenever you get over there, or use it whenever you get over there to have an extra drone. Most of the time, you only have one drone, you only have one chance, and if it gets destroyed, you're out of luck. But if you keep the both of them, you have two chances, double the opportunity at getting intel for you and your teams. And this is the best way to actually learn map knowledge. You know where you're going to be spawning, you know the map entrances, and you, you have a set plan in your mind of where you're going to go and how you're going to actually execute. Because I see a lot of people mid-round or beginning round, they just squirm around trying to figure out what they're going to do for 30 seconds, then start going, and then waste their drone, get it destroyed, and boom, you're already down advantage, and it's hard to come back from something like that. So this is a way to prevent that. You already have a preparation, and you can't really go away from it. And if it doesn't work, don't do it next time. That's all it is. And you'll eventually find strats that work per map, and you'll just get better as a player. And that's, at the end of the day, is all what it's about. And hopefully you guys could see why I put droning before I did any other attacking videos. Of course, I'm going to make videos on roam clearing, all the other things that you guys hit. 57% of you, I believe, actually did vote on just attacking in general. So that will be coming. But I'm going to go through a full round of what I would do. And it's going to be in-game. So we're going to hop into game. I usually don't do this. But in this situation, I am going to do this. So hopefully you guys enjoy this little walkthrough on a full round. I'm going to use border as the map as well. As I feel like that's a good map to learn anything on. You need to locate a bomb. So hopping into game, we're pretending like we're Zofia here. So I'm going to be playing more of a support-ish role. Not support, but like a fragging role here. So assuming we're in border, I would not come in like this. But this is what your team's going to do because this is always the first objective, right? This will be the bomb, as it is, I guess, in this case too, in this custom match. So this is going to be the bomb. They're going to spot this. And your drone's still outside, hopefully. And from this bomb site let's pretend like i want to push offices so what am i going to do to keep my drone alive well first of all i'm going to pick where i'm going to be trying to push now i like to push this from second uh the east stairs so i like to go through here so i would probably put my drone either out here or put it somewhere you know up in here just to make it chill there until we get there so I'm spawning valley as I would there to get into the east door. So as we go forward, right, our drone is still there. It's alive and we also have the one in our inventory. So we have two drones to work with, which is awesome. I'm gonna shut that up. Maybe, maybe not, okay. But anyways, so after we, you know, check, check the, the peaks and such, um, as people like to spawn peak there and the windows here, uh, we're gonna move in towards our way. Also watch out for the run out. I mean, this is just one push, but you have to watch out for these small things and every single push that you do. So from there, you know, I'm over here, back there more, and I'm droning this out, making sure no one's sitting uh, second floor of the east stairs. And if they're bottom square, it doesn't really matter to me at this point because I'm just trying to clear here and here. So I'm going in from here after I see that it's clear. I'm gonna destroy the cam, right? Maybe, maybe, okay. And it's still clear, right? So the stairs is all you need to worry about. No one's just gonna run from here, uh, the hallway into here. So I'm worried about the stairs here. So that's all I worried about. And since I'm Sophia, I'm popping down a claymore here and now they can't get behind me without at least making some sound. Obviously they can head glitch this and like get, get somewhat close. So if I'm standing here for a long time, they can come behind me and shoot me, but most likely I'll hear them come up, unless if it's like a cav or something, but I never see cav in the rank that I am, so I don't have to worry about this anymore. So now I could pursue this by pushing towards offices. Now we're not going to do this blind, I still have my drone, and most likely I'm going to drone this out. My team is probably in CCTV by the way, and if not, I'm just going to hold this 90 hall until they do become in CC because... I don't want to be pushing this when people can still be in CCTV, but from a ranked perspective, I always see my team take over CCTV and it's usually like half the team. So by me going over here, it applies different type of pressure that they don't even know is there. So by here, I'm going to be going in to the office with my drone. There's usually people here or here, but I'm going to drone out the entire thing just to make sure it's clear. And if it is clear, I'm setting up my drone. And if it's not clear, it's been shot already. So. Assuming it's clear and everyone's in fountain or there, you know, I'm going to be moving up. So my team has 
uh, control of CCTV now. They can come bottom square and come behind me, but I'll hear them shoot the claymore, most likely, unless they have the suppressed pistol. But I'll probably hear them run behind me or something along those lines. And once a teammate dies, you can always put a drone over here and have your teammate watch it. Uh, you watch your flank. So from here, we're in here. So we could either go out here, right? And if they don't reinforce that, we can blow a hole in here. And that's an easy sight entrance and you don't have to go through 90 and you get a deeper angle in. That's what I would prefer to do here and that's what I would do. And with my drone, if I, assuming I lost that drone, I could still drone this out. So I could see if anyone's in fountain, and if no one's in fountain, really, I could call that out to my team, and offices is clear, and whole east side is clear. Not downstairs, I don't have to worry about roam clearing, though. I don't really need to roam clear at all, because they have to run through my claymore if they want anything to do with this. Of course, they can always come up the stair, but once again, you have your claymore there. So from here, we're just moving in, and we still have all of our drones to work with. So we've droned out fountain so that is now clear so we are on to this this room now so once this is clear man you have full sight control you can hop up in here and just head glitch the bomb and you are in the bomb and your team can just come right behind you and you single-handedly have basically won the round for your team as long as your plant uh your planner can just get in there and get the bomb off so that's good and now you're in and now you have an easy round win so this is just one strategy of many and it's on the map border so hopefully this kind of gives you some ideas of why you're holding your drone because if i if i say i would have done all that with just my one drone because i plowed my drone into objective it got shot so now i only had one drone when i was here so i got here this is fine i'm always going to get here i would it would be impossible to get here to where i'm just putting a claymore down i could probably do it without even a drone just by shoulder peeking by doing this such and whatever but um i would have probably went through here and it would have gotten shot in in office offices here as there's usually at least someone playing office side so it would have gotten shot in offices is what i'm assuming and then then what i have to blindly push in regardless of what or i have to rotate around into cctv with my team and just do a basic push that has a 40 50 percent chance of winning which is not a number that i like i would like a higher probability of winning here so i have the drones to do that i have the drones to see exactly where people are gonna go just remember that your drone is like a timer once you see them just assume all that information is gone in five seconds people move around every few seconds so in five seconds if someone was sitting in this corner he could bean fountain so just remember that don't be so certain that he's there because he's probably not there uh or he you just assume he's not there but always check the spot of course but hopefully this helped hopefully this gave you ideas and if you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed an actual example as i usually don't give examples like in-game examples like this hopefully this helps and with that guys hopefully i really helped you guys out today and i will see you guys in the next video i'm going to be popping out videos every single week every single day so if you aren't subscribed yet hit subscribe button and if you want notifications of course hit that i upload at weird times sometimes as i stay up late so sometimes the videos will be in a weird time so just remember that and see you in the next one